Okay, one of my main uh, tools I carry every single day is the Leatherman Skeletool CX, <clears throat> which uh, for Leathermans, this is a very Spartan, very simple uh, one. Um, it's not the most robust, heavy duty one, but I like, I don't know, I like the way I can just carry it in the pocket. It's lightweight, it's pretty slim, slimmer than others. <clears throat> Uh, one of the main things I like about it, as many of you know, is it has the removable uh, screwdriver bits. And then in my EDC bag I have the bit kit, uh, which is great, it's like 10 bucks or something, you get tons of bits in here. Um, and then I got the drive extender, which a lot of people know about, which fits right in here. Locks in pretty tight. Oops. Uh, never mind, it doesn't lock, it just slides in and out. Um, I digress. Um, and then with this Skeletool, you can fold it so you, now you have a screwdriver. What I wanted to try is um, with this bit driver, it can take standard hex um, hex bits, um, and they seem like they're magnetic. Okay, um, right. Um, also. This is kind of just a countersinking bit. Uh, it's like a, a drill, whatever you want to call it. So I want to just see how this would bore a hole in uh, wood. Wow, um, if you can see it went all the way through. Might have even made a small mark in the chair. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that was pretty easy. Uh, I'll make one more kind of next to it here. I'm not even bearing down super hard. And on this one, because it's a countersink bit, we will countersink it. So hopefully you can see, there are small holes, about an eighth inch hole, um, but now let's just swap to uh, T15 Torx and um, drive these screws. So these are inch and a half long uh, cabinet screws, I use them all the time. So it's going pretty easy. What I want to try is unfolding it like so and kind of making a T handle. So yeah, that goes in super easy. Um, we can do another one, I guess. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's try one without a uh, pre-drilled hole right next to it. it. It will be a little harder. Pretty easy. Um, and okay, and last but not least is an inch and a quarter spade bit. So this is a little overkill, but let's give it a try.
So, it takes a fair while. Um, I didn't time myself, but I'll throw the time. I'll check the video after and see how long it took. But if you got a spare, it probably took 5-10 minutes and you want to work up a sweat, especially cold weather, you want to heat yourself up. Especially out in the woods. You might need a inch and a quarter hole for something or an inch hole. Uh, something like that. Um, and again, this was slightly overkill, but even like a half inch, a quarter inch a bit, twist bit. Um, you could use logs and stuff like that, thread paracord through, I don't know, some type of bushcraft project or uh, camping, something like that. Um, but I also drove those screws through. And I hope you like this video. Maybe you found it entertaining, maybe you found it helpful. Maybe um, I made you think of something you never thought of before. Um, if any of those apply, uh, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Um, even if you thought this test was a little dumb. Um, and if you haven't already, uh, make sure to hit hit that big red subscribe button at the bottom of this video. But we will see you on the next video.